Right now, as you can see, I'm, I'm painting the grid over, uh, I think we're looking at about six layers in, which is about three layers of discarded paper, which includes medical records, maps, you know, pages from the dictionary, some of the medical bills, it's a variety of things underneath it. And then after that, we get to this gold layer, which is like a yellow okra. And then once that dries, then I can start drawing on it. Now again, going back to this white grid that I'm bringing in. I use the grid a lot. Those of you that follow the work know. It's, um, it's part of my language in a way. In this case, the grid coming in, it's, it's, it's two things. It somewhat represents the compartmentalizing of life that you have to do when you're, when you're sick. Um, you got to put everything in the boxes and you can only deal with small amounts of things at a time. So this, this grid is sort of reflective of that. It also, the grid reflects on the general feeling that I have aside from dealing with the pain and, and so forth that you have when you're fighting cancer. This is, the grid sort of is sort of like a, you're in like a shower a door where as you can kind it, it's kind of faded. Um, that's how I felt like I was becoming um, in, in, an invisible man. Um, you're just, you're not at work, you're not around anybody, you're just kind of by yourself, dealing with it day by day, month after month. And so these boxes are sort of that day by day, month after month. I'm just fading into the background behind this white grid. You can see the initial drawing is in a sketchbook, which I did in the middle of um, <clears throat> a kind of bad moment in the pain cave, chasing with morphine. So I did a sketch, which you saw at the very beginning. Yes, it's the one with the word fuck in it. And I wanted to reinterpret it into a painting. And this is the first uh, pass at that. So the grid work, it, is, it varies from painting to painting how I'm using it. In this one, it it's kind of as the days go by and everything is just sort of a drone of day after day, month after month, treatment every day, just treatment, going home and dealing with it. So you're just sort of fading out of society. You're just sort of, you're not involved in your friends circles and all that. You just kind of fade away and you start compartmentalizing everything. So that's, that's this grid, this monotonous white, um, bland grid just sort of covering me um, in, in the middle of the treatment.